All right, so uh, this is going to be a short video, hopefully, uh, to make up for the longer videos that I've been doing recently. And the subject is uh, prepping a Heroclix Mini for paint, primarily by the stripping of the paint that is currently on it. Uh, so you need a few things for that. The first thing is you're going to need a well-ventilated space to work in. This is my workshop. It has several windows and I have a fan going on as well, which you can hear uh, in the background. Uh, the next thing you're going to need, some acetone. Uh, acetone is going to be your primary paint stripper. You're going to need a brush to work off that paint. Uh, you're going to need a small container to hold your acetone that you're going to be working with. And of course, you need a Heroclix Mini. This is Commissioner Gordon uh, from the new Batman set. Uh, all right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is remove your Mini from the base. Done! Actually, uh, this isn't always very easy. The uh, Minis are all super glued to the base. Uh, sometimes they have the, the base has this uh, raised bit. Uh, sometimes it has three pegs that hold it in. But if at all possible, you need to remove the base because if you get acetone on the base, it will remove all of this information around the outside. Plus, you don't want it to get onto the uh, dial itself. Um, but you can also remove the, the uh, dial if you need to. If, if for some reason you can't get uh, the mini off of the base, and that may require prying it up uh, with a tool. Uh, in Commissioner Gordon's uh, case, he actually had a sort of raised lip here. So I was able to hold it firmly at the base and uh, pull the base away from it. Um, they are not all this easy, and sometimes I feel like I'm a little brain damaged because as soon as I get a really cool mini, the first thing I do is try and break him off the base. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, I'm not going to go into more detail on that. Just keep in mind that it is not always easy to do, and it is also possible if you're using tools or along this base to kind of screw up the base uh, trying to remove the figure. Um, I'm always very careful um, when I'm trying to remove it, and if I feel like um, I'm not able to do it easily, then I just don't. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, if you pry the dial away from the top of the base, then you could conceivably mask this off. And when I say mask it off, I don't mean with masking tape. Um, I would probably use uh, a liquid latex. I would dip this into liquid latex, let that cure out, and then you can work with the acetone. And the liquid latex should uh, keep all of your information safe. But again, that would be after prying the uh, dial portion away. So, moving on. Alright, so the next thing you're going to need is uh, some acetone in your cup or other container. There we go. And uh, then I'm just going to dunk him. The longer he sits in there, the uh, more the paint is going to let go from the figure. But the acetone will also um, affect the underlying plastic. These are all cast in clear plastic, if you didn't know that already. Uh, so you don't want to bathe it for too long. You can already see that it's getting really cloudy in there. You can't even see into it anymore because all the paint is inside the acetone. Um, I should probably also be wearing gloves. I do a lot of things that are probably not the best way to do it. Um, so don't learn my, my uh, bad mistakes. Get yourself a, set, a pair of gloves uh, that you can use with this stuff. It's not, it's not good to have around. And I want to reiterate, a uh, well-ventilated area, just because your uh, local uh, nail salon always smells like this stuff, doesn't mean that you want to be breathing it in over long periods of time. So, uh, let me get that out of there. This stuff 
does evaporate really quickly. Look at that. Let's see if you can... There. Almost all of the paint is gone. Um, these minis are usually cast in several pieces. Uh, for example, the head uh, will have a big peg that goes between the shoulder blades into the neck area, of course. Um, this is also the uh, the bat signal is a separate piece from the, the uh, rest of it. I believe this base at the bottom is uh, separate from the rest of the figure. And given enough time, the acetone will also eat the glue that is uh, holding this all together. I would not be unhappy if it were to become unglued um, because it would make the painting process easier and I may even try and help it along. But all I'm doing here is using the, uh, the brush to move the paint off of the mini. Not really doing anything else. Uh, just trying to keep the, the fresh acetone on the newly exposed paint. But as I said, it's, it's almost all gone now. Um, I can still see some on the coat. But I'm going to continue working with that on my own. But this was real time, so you can already see how little time that's taken. And again, you don't want to leave it in the acetone for very long because uh, it'll make the uh, it'll affect the, the plastic underneath. So uh, let me get it finished, and then we'll come right back. All right, and that's it. Um, one thing to mention is that if you do have sort of recessed areas that are problem areas, like uh, sometimes where the uh, in the eyes or next to the nose, you might have. Um, little bits of paint that don't want to come free, I'll use a toothpick uh, to very carefully uh, scrape it out, um, but very lightly. You don't need to use much uh, much effort at all. It's just the, the regular paintbrush isn't getting into those recesses. And otherwise, uh, this came out pretty well. And don't worry about the fact that the, uh, the clear part your parts are a little cloudy, that's okay. That's not really a problem. I may go back and clean up the, uh, the bat signal because you do definitely want that to be as clear as possible. Um, with, but I'll clean it up with some fresh acetone and that should clean that right up. I also have some other stuff that might work as well. Sometimes because the acetone will always leave a little bit of uh, uh, the pigment behind, it's, it's going to remain cloudy, but I have some other stuff that should work a little bit better. And uh, that's it. So again, quick video, a little acetone bath, a little brush, maybe a little toothpick, and you're good to go. But again, keep in mind, get it off of that base or get that base covered, or you're going to have an unusable figure. And that's it. I'll talk to you later.